Hello folks, I'm Colonel Failure and this is City Skyline Snowfall. Yeah, there's a break from the norm. Uh, I was hoping that I'd be able to continue running my uh, existing series in parallel, but for the moment, uh, the number of mods that are, uh, let's say, uh, deprecated due to the, uh, the introduction of this new expansion uh, is significant. Um, and therefore, I can't even get the save to load. So I'm going to give the, uh, the, the the modding gentry a little while to sort themselves out, and uh, and then all being well, I'll be able to pick up on the uh, on the series where we left off. Meanwhile, I thought we'd do something else as well. Uh, as you can see, I have been busy. I'm trying to get you a good view here. Uh, apologies for the wailing of sirens. As you can see, we have trams. Uh, I'm only running one tram line at the moment, but we do have trams. Um, what we don't have is the traffic management mod, um, which is... Oh, I, I miss it so much. Uh, you just... Yeah, you wouldn't believe just how much one would miss a mod. Uh, but there you go. Uh, I'm just going to follow this guy along and... Hopefully we can evade the sirens after a couple of seconds. There we go. Um, yeah, so the uh, uh, trams are, add a, a whole slew of new transport. Oh, yeah, not one siren, but two. Go clear off. Let's, let's back up a little. Uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to see the uh, the tram route at the moment given the uh, the snow, but I thought I'd start with it snowing given that that's the, the kind of the, the, the major selling point of this particular mod. Um, as you can probably make out, I've got cash. Uh, I've, I've done my usual trick of setting up a burner city uh, in order to generate the cash, in order to do something a little bit more splendid. Um, but yeah, we've got a fairly straightforward... Let's load this up. Here we go. Fairly straightforward. The purple line here is our tram route. Uh, and it's just kind of going around this middle section. In fact, let's show you the whole thing, and then I'll talk you through some of the features that are included in uh, in this expansion so uh as you can see i've got no mods turned on at all in fact no i've got what have i got turned on i've got two uh i've got um all water is now brown instead of purple when it's when it's been uh, diseased and i've got the auto bulldozer i managed to get both of those working uh, thank God for the auto bulldozer. I did again. Something I didn't appreciate until it was gone was uh, just how frustrating it is to have to clear all of the uh, the burnt out and abandoned houses yourselves. Um, so yeah, so I've, I've basically filled the whole of this starting square. I, I can I can expand several times from here, but uh, have chosen thus far not to, largely because I was quite I was quite enjoying the way that this was shaping up. If I zoom right out, there you go. See, that's, I mean, that's not awful. I mean, it's pretty awful. Um, but there you go. Right, oh, we've got some. Oh, here we go. Look. Okay, so these uh, icons here, they, these pop up when your uh, streets are starting to get a bit clogged with snow. And, uh, and when you get to that point, uh, your vehicles will slow down. Seems pretty reasonable. Um, and uh, it actually, you don't get the means to deal with that for quite some time. You have to build up a, a fairly respectable population before, uh, before you can handle the, uh, the snow that's gathering. Now, over here, I have one of two. I've got two of these in the city. Uh, snow dumps which have snow plows associated with them. Uh, if I have this open, will it show up? No. Uh, oh, I will if I do this. Here we go. So, where is a, where's a snow plow? There's, there's one stuck in traffic. Loads of them stuck in traffic. The traffic was fine not so long ago uh, due to something I discovered that I will point it out to you in a, a few moments. Uh, here we go. We got a, there's a plow doing his, doing his plow work. Right, if we turn this back off again... Let's follow this fella. Uh, there we go. Right, and as you can see, as he passes over a snowy bit, it becomes less snowy. Little hazard lights going in the works. Uh, look, see, if we, if I could get a tilt on here, but the camera clips... Oh, there you go, you can make that out, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, so the, the snow actually clears from the streets. Not immediately. It's not like magic. It, it just 
it gently clears somewhat. That said, it has stopped snowing now, so we should have less uh, less clearing to do overall. But it's quite a nifty little feature. Um, when he's got a full load, he'll go and drop it back at the snow dump, and it will uh, melt over time. There you go. So that's, uh, that's snow plows. And, uh, and the weather actually has a big impact on this game. Perhaps, obviously. Uh, so not only do you have the uh, the snow that occasionally falls and clogs the, clogs the roads up, um, you also have down here a uh, temperature gauge. And uh, the lower the temperature falls, the more electricity your people will use to keep themselves warm. Again, pretty realistic. I've got no no objections to that. But that's not all. There is a there are modern advances in uh, in water supply that can help you with that. So here, this chap's out of uh, out of juice at the moment. Uh, boiler that is always out of oil. Um, yeah, constantly out of oil, this one, which is why it's not the only source I use. Basically, uh, these guys, what they do is you have a different type of water pipe. Uh, these are water pipe for heating. So as you can see, it does all of the usual good watery stuff, but also it has heating built in. So my entire city is covered with this, but since that guy's out of juice at the moment, we're not getting full coverage, which is what all these uh, orange uh, kind of house warming symbols are indicating, is that we are uh, short on warm water, which would help keep those houses properly warm yes uh no the alternative is i've got one over here there we go that one here geothermal heating plant magnificent beast that it is here we go it's a bit foggy round here uh so i don't know how well you can make it out let's get rid of that yes the the geo geothermal heating plant it's uh, it's not inexpensive to keep running, but uh, a few of those will get your city up and up and trotting quite happily. And they they plumb onto the the standard water main stuff in that way you would expect. It's quite a nice view with the uh, wind turbine going and ev uh, people complaining about lack of power. Power management is also a right pain. What have we got going on? Total current output ten. So obviously, uh, there we go. What do we got? 421 consumption. I'm producing 486. None of you should be complaining. So if your geothermals don't manage to supply the entire city, they crank up the uh, electric heating that they've got indoors, and as such, you have trouble keeping up. Um, so over delivery of power is, uh, is well, is a thing now. Uh, that's. <sighs> It's a tricky one because you do have to over deliver quite significantly in order to ensure that you're never in a uh, you know a brown out kind of a situation where where you just don't have the the capacity to deal with stuff um, uh, what else am I going to show you there's another one there's another road bit here somewhere uh, let's have a look traffic maybe uh, where are we? I'm pretty sure I built one round here. So there's a there's a traffic maintenance hut. Oh, yeah, it's just a bit more than that. There we go. Road maintenance depot. Um, and uh, uh, where are we going to see the trucks highlighted? The the trucks are nothing special. They're just a standard truck that kind of runs around the city. But uh, the 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 cool thing that they do. No, see that wasn't it. How do I get that to light up? I wonder. Ah, it's this one. Here we go. There you go. So I've got a couple of these uh, in the city at the moment. Basically, these guys help keep uh, well, potholes and all that kind of stuff to a minimum. As you can see, we've got a few running here. Flipping heck, it's just non-stop sirens. There we go. Let's go and have a look at this guy. And obviously, he's, he's in purple at the moment. So let's uh, let's get... Come on, make it so I can click on you. Uh, do that and that. And then try and find him. Oh, uh, there he is. There, there, there. Right, right at the front of the queue here at the traffic lights. Yeah, he doesn't do anything particularly miraculous in terms of animations. Flipping sirens. 
Uh, but what he does do is, uh, while pottering around the city, he basically improves the quality of all the roads that he drives over, uh, which means that you get a, a slight boost in speed for any vehicles that are using that, uh, that section of road. All in all, pretty clever, I thought. Um, yeah, it's, a, it's a, a, a nice feature, keeping it all, all kind of ticking along. What are you? Oh, taxis. Yeah, I've got some taxis up. Uh, nobody uses them. Uh, my public transport's actually pretty reasonable. Uh, what have we got here? What, 600 a week on the bus, 300 on the tram, 1,200 by tube, uh, and 12 people a week in a taxi. Now, obviously, taxis are, are geared towards tourists, and thus far, I have not touched tourism. It interests me not at the moment. It, I, I see tourism as a kind of a, an end game to pitch for. But there you go. This is my uh, this is my opening gambit as far as cities are concerned, and I will be deleting all of it. Uh, it pains me. Twenty seven thousand people. I'd like to get it up to thirty four thousand because that will enable me to get the uh, nuclear power plant in which I put so much stock. Um, uh, largely because it provides so much power, it will keep you going for ages. But, uh, but that's okay. Anyway, largely, uh, what I'm going to be doing is much like the last series. And get this, my first time on a new map. We're on a snowy map here. Whew, pretty exciting stuff. Pretty, pretty heady and exciting stuff. Um, I want to, uh, I want to do a bit of terraforming work on, uh, on at least a couple of these islands, uh, to, to see if I can't come up with a look and feel that I'm I'm happy with but then the the hope is that uh, let's let's bash it all the way out here uh, I'll engage the you can buy nine you can buy all 25 uh, district mod and fingers crossed that will just work and it won't fight me for the whole thing um, and then I want to try and build something that is somewhat geometric uh, but covering the entire map. So whereas historically what I've tried to do is do, uh, you know, a bunch of circles and, you know, they all link off each other and they look lovely and, and all that kind of business. Uh, this time around I thought I'd try and get one shape in to cover the entire map. I have no idea what that shape is. It's going to take some tinkering. Um, but yeah, but that's, that's where we're going to go with it. Uh, after I've deleted this thing. I think what I'll do before then though is a, a trial and error with regards to which mods will actually work. It wouldn't surprise me if Traffic Manager was just a, a straightforward no-go at present. Given uh, given the addition of trams, I can understand why that, why that wasn't working yet. But dear me, do I miss being able to tinker with priorities and traffic lights. Whew. I mean, other people subscribe to Traffic Plus Plus above all else, um, but not me. I'm a, I'm a traffic manager man. Uh, anyway, while, I, while I've got you here, I might as well tell you this, this kind of thought that I had. And while my traffic wasn't completely snarled up, this worked quite nicely. Um, this queue of traffic is fine, right? Because all of this stuff is queuing to get into the city in the first place. And that's quite all right. What I did was I deleted uh, hopefully can make all this out. I deleted uh, the two-lane highway that you get, so, well, the highway, uh, that you get at, by default uh, that kind of cuts straight through the middle of the city. And I replaced it with my own uh, my own section of road. Here we go, all the way out to the other end of my uh, my territory. And the road that I used, uh, ding, ding, tong, ting, is this one here. A uh, six-lane road with bus lanes, and that makes all the difference. And the reason it makes all the difference is, firstly, your emergency vehicles get some priority over the, the, the plebs who are just kind of muscling between areas. Uh, but the other thing it does, and I might need to hit the speed up for you to see this in action. Of course, it'd be helpful if the sun was out and it wasn't snowing, but let's... Uh, here we go, let's keep an eye on it. So this is the main thoroughfare in the city. And uh, if you remember, there was a queue just outside. I think I could probably handle that queue a little better. But uh, if you look at this, nobody has to wait too long. Everything keeps moving. So they move from junction to junction. When the lights turn, they get, on average, uh, what what are we looking here? Like two, three blocks at a time before being held at the next traffic lights. 
and that's fine because it only ever lets through as much traffic as it can handle. So, uh, so throttling, uh, bottlenecking the traffic in this way actually allows it to stay somewhat under control. I mean, traffic's very heavy anyway, but uh, I think I had it running smoothly up to around 22, 23,000 population uh, just after introducing every bus route known to man. Um, certainly made a difference. But now, you know, it's it's almost holding together. This is by far the worst section in the city. Just to give you some kind of frame of reference on that. And nobody, ah, uh, this one's pretty horrible. This is, the, uh, that's quite ugly. I've seen better. And again, it's because it's building up down here. See, traffic manager, what I do is I just set these traffic lights to be all go all the time with uh, with these chaps having to wait for a gap. And that would soon clear the whole thing. But, you know, not unlike, uh, a, you know, a fairly standard city, if you ask me. Okay, see, can't get a, can't get a brilliant angle. Ah, oh, how's that? No, 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 not really. Uh, anyway, there you go. So, um, so that's something I'm going to I'm going to dwell on further, uh, limiting my my mod selection for this uh, this. I uh, hopefully it'll be a longish series, um, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Everybody's chilly. It's minus seventeen degrees at the moment. It is a bit on the parky side. Anyway, I've been Colonel Failure. Thank you very much for watching. That's, that's I mean, and that's kind of an overview of the uh, of the of the changes in this uh, update. It's not an update; it's an expansion. Let's let's give it the credit it's due. Um, and uh, and I think we can possibly build a city that's uh, that's quite good fun. So tune in next time, and I'll make a start on that. Uh, and I, I'll have to have, I'll, I'll put some thinking in and, and I'll probably have laid out the initial sections already um, and we'll see where we get to from there anyway thank you very much for watching I've been Colonel Failure uh, chuck a like subscribe if you've not done so already and we'll motor on with this in the very near future thank you very much for watching cheerio This, 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 this.